Three players will compete in a classic battle of knowledge and strategy. And one of them will have a chance to win a top prize of $5,000 in cash. Today on Showdown. And here's your host, Mr. Jim Peck. Thank you very much, and welcome to Showdown. It is a pleasure to have you with us today, and it's going to be exciting because one of our players will roll the Showdown dice for a top prize of $5,000 in cash. Who will it be? Let's meet our players. Nancy, tell us something about yourself. I'm Nancy Steinthal. I'm the mother of a three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and I come from Teaneck, New Jersey. It's nice to have you with us, Nancy. Bob, what should we know about you? Uh, I'm Bob Bolthrop from San Francisco. I have three boys, two of whom are recent arrivals, twins. Mm, good luck to you today. And Elaine, tell us. I'm Elaine Lucas, and I have three daughters, which is nice, and I'm a part-time student at Fairleigh Dickinson. You can do your matchmaking later. Right now, good luck to all of you. And this is the way we play Showdown. The object of the first part of the game is to score payoff points, and you must hit them right on the nose. Your first payoff point, players, is eight, and it pays $50 to the player who gets there first without going over. You get to eight by answering questions in these categories, and they are, for one point, animals, for two points, TV. For three points, quotes. Over there for four points, travel USA for five points. Religion of the big six-point question, opera. We'll play for as many payoff points as time permits. Now, when time runs out, remember the two high scorers of the day will advance to the final showdown round, and the winner there will get to roll the showdown dice for $5,000 in cash. Players, get ready. Here's a one-point toss-up question for the right to select that first category. Who is America's new energy czar? Bob. Simon. William Simon is right, Bob. You're on the board with one point, building to eight. Take a look at the categories. Uh, Please select. I'll go to TV for two. You have it. Name the adventure series that stars David Carradine. Elaine. Kung Fu. Is right, Elaine, for two points. And you have control. Please select. Okay, I'll take travel, please, for four. First time. Which state is your destination if your slogan is Pikes Peak or Bust? Elaine. Colorado. Is right, Elaine, for four points, and you're up to six. <laughs> Nancy, haven't heard from you yet. There's plenty of time in the game. Bob with one point, and Elaine, our leader, with six. Two off the money, Elaine, and you've got control. Well, I think I'll try TV for, play, for, TV for two. Easy for you to say. Here we go. <laughs> What nickname does Archie Bunker have for his son, uh, Nancy? Meat hey, Meathead. <laughs> <laughs> for his son and law, Meathead is right. <laughs> Nancy, you're at two, building to eight. You have control of the board now. Think of your strategy and please yes, select. Yes, um, I will take religion from five and block a lane. Okay, we put the X up uh -huh. on a lane, and let me take just a second to explain it. A player must hit a payoff point right on the nose. Obviously, the five points would put Elaine over the payoff point of eight. So, you stand by, Elaine. Only lasts for one question. Good thinking, Nancy. It's between you and Bob. Which Roman Catholic holiday is observed as the first day of Lent? Bob Ash Wednesday is right for five points. Now, look at those scores. Two, six, and six. Bob, you're two off the money. Please select. I'm going to hope I'm fast enough. I'll take TV for two. <laughs> okay, block is off the lane. Here we go. Which popular program TV... Uh, let me start that over. Which popular program features TV tough guy Jack Lord? Elaine. Hawaii 5 0. Is right. You've got the payoff point and $50. Take a look at those scores. We see Nancy with two, Bob six, and Elaine, our early leader, with eight points. So we'll be back, players, with another payoff point right after this important. Welcome back to Showdown. We're still looking for the two high scorers of the day. Take a look at the scores. Nancy with two, Bob in the middle at six, and Elaine is our early leader with eight. Players, your new payoff point is 15, and it pays $75. Ready? It's your one-point toss-up question for the right to select the category. What's the brand new price of an airmail stamp? Bob. 15. Wrong. Nancy. 16. Wrong. Elaine. 13. Is right, finally, for one point. We went all around there. <laughs> Elaine, you're at nine. Six off the money. Take a look and select, please. I'll try TV for two, please. Everyone's afraid of opera. Here we go. <laughs> Name the two stars who play television's odd couple. Bob. Tony Randall and Jack Pluckman. You're right, Bob, for two points, and you're at eight, building to 15. Go ahead. I'll take opera for six. I spoke Ooh, too soon. Boy. Here we go. There we go. In the world of opera, which Spanish city is home to both Carmen and Figaro? Bob Seville is right for six points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, Bob, you're at 14. <laughs> one away from the payoff yeah, point at 15. Right. It doesn't leave you too much chance. Choice. I'll take animals for one. And... Here it comes. Could be money for Bob. Nancy and Elaine, hands on those buzzers. What collective name do we give to a family of geese? <laughs> Elaine. Uh, ga gaggle. Is right for one point. <laughs> okay, Elaine. Ten points, five off the money. Take a look. Think of a strategy and select. Well, I'm going to try religion for five and block Bob. Oh, a block on Bob. Put the X up. Bob, stand by on this one. This would put you over. It is between Nancy and Elaine. Strategy is the name of the game. Who was the great prophet of Islam? Nancy. Muhammad. Is right, Nancy. And you're back in it at seven points. And seven going to 15. Take a look and see. I think it pays for me to try off and bo block both Bob and Elaine. Okay. Wow. Good wow. thinking. That's why we have the blocks in there. It is between, only for you, Nancy, excuse me, and if you have the answer, buzz in. Which modern American opera begins with a lullaby, Summertime? Nancy? Porgy and Bess? You're right, for six points. Okay, now look at the scores again. Elaine now with 10, Nancy in the middle with 13, Bob 14. Good comeback, Nancy. See if you can keep it going. Okay, um... You're two off the money. Okay, I'll have to go for two with TV, please. Okay, another block, block on Bob. Bob. Yes. Okay, but Elaine is playing. It's between you and Nancy. Name the Broadway and Hollywood actor who stars in the role of Columbo. Elaine. Peter Falk. Is right for two points. And it gets a little tighter. Elaine, 308, right. go ahead. Well, I'll try quotes for three, please. And Here we go, Bob's quotes for block. three and a double block. Goes back and forth. That's where we see control of the board becomes so critical. Elaine, once again, if you have it, buzz in. What four words appear on all U.S. coins? Yes, please, uh, audience. In God We Trust? I didn't hear a buzz. Take oh. it, In God We Trust. Okay, I, the judge says go ahead. And you've got your payoff point. $75, Elaine. <laughs> Scores can't get much closer. Nancy at 13, Bob 14, and Elaine is now in the lead with 15 points. And we'll be back with a second half of Showdown in just one minute. Welcome back to Showdown, and remember, we're still looking for the two high scorers of the day who will advance into our final Showdown round. Let's take a look at the scores. We have Nancy at 13, Bob 14, and Elaine with 15, and $125 to your credit so far. Not bad. Players, your new payoff point is 23, and it pays $100. Now let's look at the new categories for the second half of Showdown, and we see that they are, for one point, the comics. For two, food and drink. For three points, the Zodiac. For four points, the Oscars for five. Novels and the six-point question, The Civil War. Okay, here is your one-point toss-up question for control of the board. Hands on the buzzers. Tell me the year that Americans first walked on the moon. Bob. 1969. Is right, Bob, for one point. You're 15 going to 23. Please select. Uh, I'll take novels for five. You've got it. Who's the author of the current bestseller based on the life of Aaron Burr? Elaine. Corey Vidal. Is right for five points. Okay, 13, 15, and 20, Elaine. You're three away from the money. Take a look and select, please. All right. Well, I think I'll try the Zodiac for three, please. It's a good choice. How many signs in the Zodiac? Nancy. Twelve. You're right. Three points. You knew where I was going with that. 16, Nancy. Going to 23. Think of the strategy and select. Yes. Um... I think that I would like to block Elaine, and I'll try the novel for five. For five points, the block on Elaine. Stand by, Elaine. It's between Bob and Nancy. Name the only American woman to win a Nobel Prize for literature. Nancy. Pearl Buck. You're right for five points. You know your literature. <laughs> Nancy, two away. Okay, what are you going to um, do? I'll try food and drink for two. Here we go. Block is off, Elaine. Everyone's playing. Listen to these drinks. A stinger, a daiquiri, and a gimlet. Which one is made with rum? Elaine. Daiquiri. Is right for two points. And we go back again. All right, Elaine, you're back in the lead, and you have control of the board. One away. So, uh, well, it's the comics for one, please. It certainly is. What single word turned a young boy into Captain... Oh, Bob. Shazam. Shazam into Captain Marvel. That's right. That's how you spent your youth, huh? Okay, Bob, 16 going to 23. I'll try the Oscars for four. And a, and a double block, yes, on Nancy and Elaine. Oh, good. good strategy. Here we go, Bob. If you have it, signal in, please. Name the current movie which won a Best Actress nomination for Barbara Streisand. Yes, The Way We Were. Is right for four points. <laughs> this is a tight game. Bob, 20. Nancy, 21. Elaine, 22. Bob, you're three away from the money. I can block both of them, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, it's not my strong point. The Zodiac for three. Okay, control of the board is critical, and strategy is what you're doing. 
Which zodiac sign is represented as an innocent young girl? Bob, uh, my sign, Virgo. Is right. You got the payoff point, too. It's worth $100 to you, Bob, and welcome to the board. Okay, Nancy with 21, Elaine 22, Bob 23, a nip and tuck game. Let's go to a new payoff point, players, and it is 30, paying $125. Here's a one-point toss-up question for control. Name the popular singer who wrote and recorded the song, Blowing in the Wind. Nancy. Um, uh, oh, uh, Dylan, Dylan. Do we have it in time? I'm sorry. Anyone else? Bob. Bob Dylan. You got it for one point and control of the board. Bob, 24, going to 30. Please select. Uh, I'll try novels for five, please. Okay. Listen to these three authors. Joseph Conrad, Herman Melville, or H.G. Wells. Which one wrote Lord Jim? Elaine. Well, the first one. Conrad. <laughs> I didn't hear Conrad? It. Joseph Conrad what? is right, I... yes, for five points. <laughs> three away, Elaine. Take a look and make your choice. Uh, I'll try the Zodiac for three, please. And here it is for three points. Which sport do we associate with the sign Sagittarius? Bob Archer is That's right great. for three points, and you're up to 27, going to 30, Bob. Please I'll, select. I'll try food and drink for two, please. Okay, get out of that category. In a French restaurant, what are you served when you order crepes? Elaine. Pancakes. Is right for two points, and you're one away from the money, Elaine, which brings us to... The com comics. <laughs> for one point, here we go. In the comics, who is the world's most outspoken maid? Bob Hazel is right for one point, and you're at 28 going to 30. Good, yeah, high game. Food and drink for two, please. And the money. Hands on those buzzers, players. A block on the lane on this one. Good strategy, Bob. It's between you and Nancy. What's the main alcoholic drink in every bull shot? Bob Vodka is right in beef consomme, and you've got the payoff point of 30 and 125 dollars. And players, that alarm tells us there is one minute and 30 seconds left to play. Now, when time runs out, only the two highest players will advance into our final showdown round. Audience, please, no applause in the last minute 30. The players are racing the clock. Even if we hit a payoff point, we'll go right on through it. So, players, if you're ready, your new payoff point will be 38, and it will pay $150. Set the timer at one minute 30 seconds. Here's your toss-up question. Name the outspoken president of the AFL-CIO, Bob. Beanie. Is right for one point, Bob. 31 going to 38, please select. Novels for five, please. You've got it. Who's the tragic heroine of the Scarlet Letter? Elaine. Uh, Hester. Prin. Is right for five points. You had all of it there. 34 going to 38, Elaine. Four away from the money. Well, I'll try the Oscars for four, please. Here it comes. Who received one of this year's Best Actor nominations for his performance in The Sting? Elaine. Robert Redford. Is right for 38 points and $150. We'll go right on to a new payoff point, and it is... 45, paying $175. Here's your toss-up question, players. In Roman numerals, what single letter stands for the number 50? Nancy. Uh, L. Is right for one point, Nancy. You're 22, going to 45, please. Okay, select. I'll try Civil War for six, please. Take a big one. Name the man we remember most for his stirring Civil War photograph. Bob Brady. Is oh, right, Bob, for six good. points, and you're 37, going to 45. I'll try the Oscars for four, please. Name the two Hollywood stars who said no thanks to their academy. Nancy. Marlon Brando and George C. Scott. Is right, Nancy, for four points, less than 30 seconds, players. 26, okay, Nancy. Okay, um, novels for five, please. Here it comes. In which adventure novel can you find the familiar motto, all for one and one... <laughs> Elaine. Uh, um... Quickly, please. Time is up, Nancy. D'Artagnan. Now wrong, Bob. Three Musketeers. Is right for five points. Okay, Bob, you are now up to 42, three away from money. Uh, I'll try the Zodiac for three, please. Here it is. Which animal do we associate with the sign of Aries? Elaine. The ram. Is right for three points. And time is up, Bob and Elaine. You will play Final Showdown. Congratulations, Bob and Elaine. Stand by for just a second. Nancy, no money for you during the game, but we do have a beautiful bull of a wristwatch. And our sincere thanks for making it an exciting game of showdown. Thank you. Bob and Elaine, in just one minute, you will be playing final showdown. And, Bob, by one point, as high a score, you'll have an important advantage in that round. You will get to select the first category. We've seen how critical that can be. Don't go away, because we will be back for the final showdown in one minute. And it's time for Final Showdown. We have just two players left, Bob and Elaine, and let's check the categories for this important round. There are just three, and they are, for one point, The Old West, for two points. Politics, 1974, and for three points, Languages. There's a lot of money at stake. Remember, only one of you will go on to roll the showdown dice for $5,000. 
Are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. We're starting this round from scratch. Your final payoff point is seven, and it pays $200. Bob, you have the advantage here. You are the high score going into this round. You get to select the first category. Take a look at the board. Take your best category. Good luck to both of you. Bob, please select. I'm going to try languages for three, Jim. Good. A tough one right off the bat. Here we go. What one word describes American-Russian relations? <laughs> Elaine Detente. is right for three points, Elaine, and you're building to seven. Go ahead. I'm going to try languages again for three, please. If it's going for you, work it. Which type of shop gets its name from the German word for tasty foods? <laughs> Bob. Delicatessen. And you're back in the tie. All right, three and three. All right, this game has gone on this way all day long. Bob, you now have control. Uh, I'm going to try languages for three and okay. hope I'm quick. Stay with it. Tell me the Spanish expression, which literally means what will be, will be. Bob. Que sera, sera. Is right for another 3.5. Okay, you're at six, going to seven. You have only one selection. That's right, Old West. The Old West for one, Elaine, hand on that buzzer. If Bob gets this one right, he will roll the showdown dice for $5,000. Here we go. Which famous outlaw tried to lead an honest life, calling himself James Howard? Bob, Jesse James. Is right, you win, and you roll the dice. Congratulations, Bob. You'll be rolling for that $5,000 in just one minute. Elaine, a great pleasure having you with us today. You won $275 during the game. A lovely bull of a wristwatch, and our thanks for making it a great game of showdown. Bob, in just one minute, we'll be headed down to the big showdown dice table where you will roll for $5,000 in cash. We'll be right back at the table in one minute. Welcome back, everyone. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to roll the showdown dice for $5,000? I, I, sure I thought you might be. Let us step down and play a little game of chance. Right behind the table. The lovely Heather moves in. Bob, I want you to take a look at the showdown dice. You'll notice that we've replaced the sixes on each cube with the words show and down. The other numbers are, of course, the same, five, four, three, two, and one. Bob, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to roll those dice just as many times as you can. If your roll comes up showdown, I'll pay you $5,000 in cash. Now, before you begin, we'll give you one special roll to find your payoff point. Then we'll set the timer and you begin rolling. Every time your payoff point comes up, I'll stop the clock, add five seconds to your rolling time, and pay you $250. Sound good? Fine. Okay. Are you ready to roll for your point? I am. Take the dice. Okay. Now, just one thing I haven't told you. If you roll showdown right now, I won't pay you $5,000. I am going to pay you $10,000. be five thousand apiece for the twins. Bob, we know it's hard. We know it's hard to roll showdown the first time. But well, we're rooting for you, audience. Give them all the encouragement that you can. Go and do it, Bob. Showdown! Come on! Oh! Oh! oh. You almost had it. All right, Bob. That three is important. That is your point. Now, from here on, every time you roll a three, I'll stop the clock, give you five more seconds of rolling time, and two hundred fifty dollars. The longer you can keep those dice going the better your chances of getting a show on the other dice at five grand. Okay, Bob, are you ready? Hit me. Take the dice. <laughs> Set the timer at 30 seconds. And roll for a showdown. Come on. Eight. We're looking for that showdown. Bob. Here we go. Showdown. Come on. Oh, a down and a four. Your point is three to stop the clock. We're looking for the showdown. Four. Oh, come on. Oh, Here we go. Oh. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Oh. Bad dice. No problem. Take the dice, Bob. Go! Here we go! Here we go! Go down! Oh, five! We're looking for that three to stop the clock. Three! Go down! Six! Apparently, you need one of the nine. Go! Oh, a nine! We're looking for that showdown, Bob. Come on, showdown! A four! Come on, Bob! A showdown or a three! Oh!
around. Congratulations, you won $5,000 in cash. Let me show you something. Just turn around. Look at that timer. That was it. You had no seconds left. That was the last roll. That $5,000 added to what you won in the game brings you to a total for today of $5,425. Congratulations. our winner. You'll be back tomorrow against two new challengers. If you win again, Bob will be back to the table and you may roll Showdown again. Thank you at home for joining us. I'm Jim Peck. See you tomorrow on Showdown. <laughs>